this, you know, this kind of false, false tears and this kind of potential manipulative quality of the sacral chakra. So I'll just go through this. Element is water. So the earth chakra is literally where like the feces and the stool is in the body, the root. Water is where we have the sexual fluids and the fluids of the body, the bladder. So it's literally where the element manifests in the body. Water is related to emotions. Yeah. And also we've got a crescent moon as well as a symbol. So it's related to water, emotions, the moon, the way the moon affects, uh, affects you know, um, especially for women and the, the, uh, the qualities there of, of, of the, the moon and the emotions. So issues deals with movement, sensation, emotion, sexuality, desire, need, pleasure. The color is orange. Location is again the sacral region. Identity is emotional identity. So physical emo physical identity of the root chakra now our emotional identity. So orientation, self-gratification, demon is guilt. Developmental stages, six months to two years. Again, you can read more about childhood development in this. Sensate, exploration of the world, locomotion, going on at that age. Basic rights to feel and have pleasure. Balance characteristics, graceful movement, very much about movement and exploration, emotional intelligence, ability to experience pleasure, nurturance of self and others, ability to change, healthy boundaries. Traumas and abuses, sexual abuse, covert or overt, emotional abuse, volatile situations, neglect, coldness, rejection, denial of child's feeling states, lack of mirroring, enmeshment, emotional manipulation, overuse of playpen or restricting normal movement, religious or moral severity, i.e. anti-pleasure, physical abuse, alcoholic families, Inherited issues, parents who have not worked out their own issues around sexuality, untreated incest cases, deficiency, rigidity, rigidity in body and attitudes, frigidity, fear of sex, poor social skills, denial of pleasure, excessive boundaries, fear of change, lack of desire, passion, excitement, excess, sexual acting out, sexual addiction, pleasure addiction, excessively strong emotions ruled by emotions, hysteria, bipolar mood swings, crisis junkies, Overly sensitive, poor boundaries, invasion of others, seductive manipulation, emotional dependency, obsessive attachment. Physical malfunction, disorder of the reproductive organs, spleen, urinary system, menstrual difficulties, sexual dysfunction, impotence, premature ejaculation, frigidity, non-orgasmic, lower back pain, knee trouble, lack of flexibility, deadened senses, loss of appetite for food, sex life. And then we go through the healing practices, movement therapy, emotional release, inner child work, boundary work, 12-step programs for addictions, assign healthy pleasures, develop, develop sensate intelligence, and then we've got all the affirmations. I deserve pleasure, I absorb information from my feelings, I embrace and celebrate my sexuality, my sexuality is sacred, I move easily and effortlessly, life is pleasurable. So the idea from the root chakra, okay, we've got our survival sorted out, and as a child as well, just feeding and whatever, babies do, we start to move, we start to explore, we start to connect, we start to interact, we start to make friendships, we start to have uh, positive emotions, we start to have fun, we start to touch and develop sensuality, we start to develop attraction, we start to get into romantic relationships and experience sexuality. We start to feel these amazing like emotions but also the negative ones of uh, jealousy and uh, need and desire and being shut down and closed down and fearful and rigid. So again, it's really dealing about self-gratification, how we enjoy life and guilt, but also guilt and addiction, it's the chakra of addictions. So, so they say also this is where our past life stuff comes into play, like around puberty. So again, it's obviously a complex <coughs> chakra. Uh, you know, our pelvis is the central part of the body, the skeleton. So if the, the, you know, the pelvis is very much uh, key to our alignment, to our movement, and therefore the sacral chakra has to do with Again, the ability to move and to be free in our movement, you know, to dance, to, to express ourselves physically. Are we stiff? Are we rigid? You know, are we clunky? Um, but really, again, it's how, how we kind of 
enjoy life, connect to the world, connect to other people. It's also related to creativity and, and just joy and um, yeah. In terms of addictions, I think we all have addictions, and you could say those those original abandonment issues. Then, then they can 